Okay, now is the question 4 in heat conduction. Okay, question 4. An aluminium rod of length 50 cm and cross sectional area 4 cm square. Okay, so this is not in SI unit. Uh, later we need to change to SI unit, meter and meter square. Is joined to a steel rod of length 15 cm with the same cross sectional area uh, as shown in the diagram below. Okay, so we have an aluminium rod. Okay, maybe I can label first. Um, the aluminium rod, yeah. So the first one, this is the aluminium. Okay, this is the aluminium, and this is the the black one is the steel rod. Okay. Um, yeah, the aluminium rod is um uh, maybe I can just put this as uh, the aluminium as number one and steel as number two. So uh this is the length of the aluminium. Okay, uh, 50 cm. So this, uh, this length 50 cm is actually the distance between the two temperature between the 120 degrees Celsius and the joint temperature. So this one is uh, putting as x1, uh, the 50 cm as x1, the distance between the two temperature. Okay, this will be used uh, when we want, want to find the temperature gradient. Uh, and um, this 15 cm is between the T and 20 degrees Celsius. So this one is uh, put as X2. And this one as X2. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, same cross sectional area. So same area. Okay. Uh, so can label A at uh, same for both. Okay. Uh, we can uh, put A1 equal to A2. Okay. Can say like that. Now, um, the sides of the rods are perfectly insulated. Ah, this is very important. Perfectly insulated, that means no heat loss. Ah, perfectly insulated means no heat loss can achieve steady state. Ah, this, uh, when he say perfectly insulated, means can achieve steady state. Ah, when steady state, it means that the rate of heat flow in aluminium Will be equal to rate of heat flow in the steel. Uh, steady state means uh, the, 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 the thing steady state, it means what? It means that we can use this equation. The rate of heat flow is constant. Okay? Uh, the, the dq dt, uh, the dq over dt is the is a constant uh, or same for both rods. Okay? That means when uh, perfectly insulated, no heat loss, that means all the heat, all the heat passes through aluminium, uh, you mean the DQDT, will be also passes through the steel. Uh, will also pass through the steel. Uh, uh, so the, this is the DQDT1, this is the DQDT2. DQDT1 is equal to DQDT2 because no heat loss at the there's no heat loss. Uh, there's no heat loss along the rod. So all the heat passes through aluminium will also passes through the steel. That's why the DQDT is the same. DQDT1 equal to DQDT2. So when DQDT1 equal to DQDT2 means it achieves steady state. Uh, when the rate of heat flow is the same for both, means it is steady state. Okay, uh, this is what it means by perfectly insulated. The rate of heat flow is the same in aluminium and steel. Now, um, one end of the rod is kept at 120. So aluminium, one end is 120, while the other end of the steel rod is 20. So this is the steel, the other end is 20. Uh, so, uh, find the temperature at the aluminium steel joint. That means he want to find the temperature T. Uh, this one. Uh, want to find uh, this temperature. Uh, he asked to find this temperature. Uh, yeah, this temperature. So, um, okay. So, first of all, uh, let's identify uh, which one is the initial temperature uh, which one is the final temperature. So, let us look one by one. For aluminium, 
the initial temperature is uh, you know heat always flow from hot to cold heat always flow from hot to cold so for aluminium the initial temperature is the 120 the final temperature is the T uh, okay uh, but for the okay uh, let us look at aluminium first so um, yeah so to find the temperature at the joint to find the temperature at the joint which is this T uh, we apply this formula because steady state yeah perfectly insulated uh, the rate of heat flow in aluminium number one equal to rate of heat flow in the steel number two yeah i already label aluminium as one steel as two okay so the heat equal and then apply the formula dq dt equal to negative ka dt dx uh, apply for both so uh, for aluminium we have k1 and temperature gradient one for steel, we have K2 and temperature gradient 2. How about the cross-sectional area? Yeah, they say they have the same, same cross-sectional area, A1 equal to A2. So actually, we can cancel out the cross-sectional area because they are the same. They cancel out. The negative sign also cancel. Negative and negative uh, can cancel. So no more negative. Okay? And then we apply um, the, the one. Uh, you know, uh, uh, okay. So for K one aluminium, okay. Uh, so the aluminium has uh, K one. The steel has K two. So what is K one? Yeah, the thermal conductivity of aluminium is two hundred fifty. Eh, two hundred and five. This is K one, and fifty point two is K two. Is for the steel. Uh, so we can substitute inside. I can substitute inside. Uh, for K1 is uh, 20, sorry, is uh, 205, okay, 205, and how about the change in temperature? Change of temperature is uh, final minus initial. Yeah, let's look, let us look at aluminium. So, what's the final temperature? Uh, the uh, final temperature is the T, the cold temperature. Uh, 120 is the hot temperature, is the initial. So final minus initial. So it is T minus 120. So it is T minus 120. Uh, T is the cold temperature. Cold T is the final temperature minus the initial temperature, 120. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then what is the distance separate 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 these two temperature? The distance between these two temperature is 50 cm. Okay, the length of uh, aluminium rod. So, which is 50 cm, change to meter. Yeah, you must change to meter, which is uh, 0 0.5 meter. Okay, uh, which is uh, 0 0.5 meter. Okay, now for steel, let us look at steel. Steel, which is uh, thermal conductivity K2, 50.2. Uh, so, put as 50.2. And then uh, for the change in temperature, uh, also, final minus initial temperature. Which one is the final? Which one is the final? Yeah, our final temperature is um, our final temperature is the twenty. The cold temperature is the final. Our initial temperature is the T. Uh, this is our initial temperature. Okay, and this is our final temperature. So the cold minus the hot. Yeah, uh, T is hot temperature. Yeah, higher than twenty. So 20, final minus initial. Okay, remember the heat flow to the to the right. So 20 is the final temperature. T is the initial temperature. So final minus initial, 20 minus T. So put 20 minus T. Yeah, final minus initial. So what is the distance between them? 15 cm, which is also 0 0.15 meter. Uh, 0 0.15 meter. Okay, so I got this equation already. Next is we use, uh, we solve using mathematics and we use calculator. We will get finally the answer 75.06 degrees Celsius. Yeah, remember, uh, this uh, unit in degrees Celsius, uh, no need to change to Kelvin. No need to change to Kelvin. Remember, we're talking about change of temperature. We can use... When we're talking about change in temperature, yeah, the change in temperature, it can accept both units, degree Celsius or Kelvin. 
So this one is in degrees Celsius. Uh, no need to change to Kelvin because I set both degrees Celsius or Kelvin. So um, yeah. So this temperature is at the joint is uh, seventy five point zero six. Uh, okay. So this temperature is in between hundred twenty and twenty. Okay, that's the answer. Okay, is that correct? Yeah, 75.1. Yeah, close. Okay, now that is the temperature of the joint. Okay, final minus initial and final minus initial. Now, what is the total heat flow in 45 minutes? Okay, total heat flow. The total heat flow in 45 minutes means this one asks for the, uh, the heat energy. Total heat flow is the Q. Uh, given the he given the time already yeah given the time so he want to find the q he want to find the q the total heat flow that means we need to use the we need to find the dq dt okay we know that uh, all the heat flow through aluminium will also flow through the steel that means the rate of heat flow in aluminium is the equal to rate of heat flow in the steel so to find the total heat flow, we just use either one. Uh, you, we just find the DQDT1 or you can also find the DQDT2. You will arrive with the same answer because DQDT1 equal to DQDT2. So uh, we just use, you want to use aluminium? Also can, you want to use steel? Also can. So for this time, I just use the aluminium. Yeah. I just find the DQDT for aluminium, but I I want to find the actually just the Q itself, yeah, because the time is already given. Now let us start with use the aluminium, okay, aluminium side. So we want to find the Q. We want to find the Q only. So time taken is forty five minutes. So forty five minutes change to second. So it's a uh, forty five times sixty second. And then negative, what is the K? What is the K1? Uh, K1 is aluminium, uh, which is 205. And then what's the cross-sectional area? Yeah, the cross-sectional area already given for 4, uh, four cm square. So 4 cm square. Okay, so the area is 4 cm square. Uh, so uh, 4 cm square. Uh, area is 4 cm square. Uh, so change to meter square, change to SI unit. 20 is negative 2, 20 is negative 2, but under power 2, uh, negative 2 times 2 become negative 4. So area is uh, 4 exponent negative 4 meter square. So I, I, I substitute inside. I substitute inside the area 4 exponent uh, negative 4 meter square. Now, why is the change in temperature? Okay, remember, change in temperature can accept degrees Celsius or Kelvin. So I no need to change to Kelvin, yeah? So, uh, for aluminium side, uh, the change in temperature is between 120 and T. Uh, so, um, yeah, I just want to uh, see, yeah, uh, remove everything. Just now, I found out the, the temperature e T, you will get 75.06. Huh? We got 75.06. Okay, that's our T, 75. 0, 06 degrees Celsius, the temperature join. So, uh, our, so what's our initial temperature? What's the initial temperature? Our initial temperature is the 120. Our final temperature is the 75. Uh, okay? The cold temperature is the final temperature. The hot temperature is the initial temperature. So, we use final minus initial. Uh, final minus initial. Final minus initial, so the fine, yeah, because the heat flow from hot to cold. Heat flow from hot to cold. So cold is the final. So cold is the final. Our final is 75.06. So use the final 75.06 minus the hot initial temperature. The hot initial temperature is 120. Uh, 120. Okay, and the distance between the two temperature is uh, 50 cm, which is also 0 0.5 meter. Okay, change all to SI unit. 0 0.5 meter. Okay, um, and then that's our heat.
heat energy that flows through. So we get uh, 1.99 exponent uh, 4 joule. That's our total heat, total heat flow uh, for 45 minutes. Okay? Total heat flow. If you use the steel, if you use a steel part yeah, to solve, you also will get the heat equal to 1.99 exponent 4 joule. You surely get the same heat. You surely get the same heat. Uh, but for the steel, you look at the steel part. Yeah? The steel part, you use the K2, K2 which is a 50.2. Uh, the cross sectional is still the same. Cross sectional is still 4 cm square. Yeah? Change to meter square. And then the change uh, dt dx, the temperature gradient uh, for steel. Uh, the change in temperature is uh, using 20 minus, tw the final minus initial, 20 minus 75.06. And then the x, you use the 15 cm. 15 cm or 0 0.15 meter. Uh, if you use all that yeah, for the information at the steel rod, you will also get the same answer. Uh, the heat flow also 1.99 exponent for joule. Uh, why the same heat? Why the heat energy is the same? Why is it the same? Because it is steady state. Uh, because this rod is well insulated. Because it is well insulated. Because uh, no heat loss. No heat loss. Uh, all the all the heat passes through the all the heat passes through the aluminium uh, aluminium is the same as all the heat passes through the steel all the heat passes through the aluminium is the same as the heat passes through the steel all the heat passes through aluminium will be same as heat passes through the steel so that's why if you use aluminium side to find the heat or you use the steel part to find the heat you will get the same heat energy because it is well insulated, no heat loss. Okay, so that's it for um, these questions. Very simple. So remember, if when you want to find the change in temperature, change in temperature, always use the final minus initial. So when you use the final minus initial, it's always the cold temperature minus the hot temperature. Yeah. Uh, so for aluminium, it's the uh, 75 minus 120. For the steel is 20 minus 75. Yeah? Always the cold minus hot, cold minus hot. Okay, uh, that's it for this question. So, hope you are happy watching this. See you again. Bye.